Hey E3, I'm just reflecting on the experiment that I did on Friday and I just wanted to quickly refresh your memories on what happened, what it was, and what I've been thinking about today. So a quick reminder of what the experiment was. We were all meeting last week for a whole day. I had noticed I had given a talk on Wednesday and I had watched a recording of the talk and noticed that I say um a lot more than I actually want to say um. So what I invited you all to do was to make a paper airplane or to crumple up a piece of paper and every time I said um to actually throw it at me during the meeting. You all were so great about playing along. To, for those of you who weren't at the meeting to just sort of demonstrate what that experience was like, I have two associates with me today who are going to uh, simulate the experience and to, to demonstrate what it was like. So I was trying to think of some new experiments and um, <laughs> thank you associates for, for demonstrating that so well. Anyway, I was reflecting a little bit on my experience of that experiment and actually if you looked at the data and I actually did take data on this on Friday, in the morning you all threw stuff at me six times and in the afternoon you all threw stuff only at me three times and I've actually continued to sort of be conscious of this and this is an experiment I plan on doing in other meetings I'm at as well. I think it really demonstrates and reinforces the importance of feedback and trying to find ways to make it soft and fun and delightful on things that we want to learn about. And then I think the other thing that it really reinforces for me is that this whole experiments process for all of us is ultimately about solving really hard complex problems. But the way we're going to do that is to build that muscle to be experimental. And the more we can come up with small, fun, delightful things, then the more successful we'll be. Thanks.